Oh, I'm starting to see some fish here. Dot, 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 dot. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to take a screen snapshot of that. Look at him. Trailing right across here. Pop, 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 pop. On down to 22, 23 foot deeps. A few of them suspended about 15 feet. Buddy, when they look like that, that's going to be some... <laughs> I get excited when I find them. This is Magnum Spoon Magnum Swim Bait material right here. This is awesome. I can't wait. I'm about to crack one. I'm gonna get bit right there. Yeah, man, I've got a, a custom built rod. Alpha rods. A guy named Matt Hafner's making this rod. It's a extra fast action. Seven foot five. Lure weight one to six ounces. Seventeen to forty pound line. I'm actually I, I throw my big spoons and big swim baits on seventeen pound fluorocarbon. It's uh if you go much lighter than that. You know, on a bait that weighs one to three ounces, you're liable to break your lure on a, when you cast. 17's about as small as I want to get away with. But this rod is super heavy in terms of the action, but it's super light in terms of the weight. And that's why I really like this custom built rod. We, we went through a few prototypes and came up with one that, you know, I wanted it to have enough backbone to handle a big bait and to handle a big fish, but I don't want the rod to be so dang heavy that I get wore out fishing it. This is the best. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I throw a big spoon. Catches big fish. Magnum spoon. Magnum fish like that right there. Through with the spawn tail healing up this is what we're after and that's what those little dots on the screen that's them Second fish we've cut off that school. And they're all pretty good size as you see. <laughs> 